What's up guys? It's me, it's Jacob. Welcome back to another reaction video. It's it's actually been a few hours since we watched um, episode number, or since I watched episode number two. But we're about to watch episode number three of three of the YouTube original series by Bazinga, about Bazinga, called How To Be Bazinga. And before we get into it, there really is only one thing, uh, and one thing only that's that's um, left to be done. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Let's go. This is how I became who I am. Teenage Cancer Trust have asked me to run the London Marathon, and with no other answer than yes. When I started this journey, there really was no athletic ability inside of this body. That's what happens when a run doesn't always go to plan. Come on, let's go! They even had a point to prove, both to himself and the world. I feel like an adventurer. <laughs> my left leg feels like it's packing in. I feel like I'm officially in the pit. Oh boy. Okay. So he goes off road in this episode. So I've been at home now for, I think, the last two weeks because. Now, a bit of context, a, a, a wee bit of context. If you weren't here for the third to last video, or the second to last, or no, sorry, the fourth to last, third to last, or second to last, you will not know yet that the reason why I'm looking this guy up, and I might not look like him right now, or maybe I do, I'm not sure. <laughs> Possibly if I had a beard and I put these on, I might look a bit more like him. But look, um, many people out there have said and I'm going to say it's probably because of my display picture, not because of what I actually look like in person. Pro probably most likely because of my display picture, come to think of it. It looks very similar to this man here. His name's Ethan Payne. He's doing a, a marathon for cancer, for children's cancer, which is a massive, you know, achievement in itself. Um, he's gotten through a lot in his life that I've learned about in the last few hours and I would not have had any clue. In fact, looking at him right now, knowing that he's into fitness, he did a marathon, I think, you know, I would have thought that he'd been fit his whole life and that is absolutely incorrect. He wasn't. You just saw him before. When I first saw that body at 103 kilograms at five foot nine, I thought that's not the same guy, but it is. So he's got, he's got over a lot. He's got through a lot. This documentary series has covered a lot of his life actually. And it's been, a, it's been really entertaining. I mean, if I didn't like it, I wouldn't have watched episode two or three. We're watching the final episode. He's going to run the London Marathon. He's doing it through COVID, which just adds another hurdle to jump over. And, uh, well, I'm excited to see how he goes. I really am. So let's see. The reason why I'm doing this, the reason why I've looked this guy up, is because all of you guys keep on saying I look, well, he looks like me. Either I look like him or he looks like me. Or I look like his dad. And with that being said, bang. I felt a little bit ill. My fever went up, my temperature went up. I was really hot and sweaty. It really- Sorry, not only are they COVID times, but he got COVID, which means your lungs are compromised. It takes a lot to recover from, and he's about to do a marathon. Let's go. It wasn't, it wasn't pretty. So, in the current climate of how things are, I decided to take a COVID home test, a swab test. I had to swap the back of my throat and use the same swab to swap my nose. So now it's time to uh, log in and check my results. Oh boy. Oh boy. Test name COVID-19 positive. Having a positive COVID test this close to the marathon changes everything. Now, originally I thought that the only thing we had in common was our looks, but we've certainly got a lot more than that in common. And you know, whether that be being absolutely and utterly obsessed with YouTube for years on end, but still not finding happiness, or whether that be running our first marathon within a month of each other, there's a lot. Just as he's about to run a marathon. It's so annoying. It's so annoying. <laughs> Do you know what's funny? <laughs> you know what's funny? I thought that I wasn't gonna <laughs> I thought I wasn't gonna look anything like him with the hat on. He hasn't worn a cap this entire video series. 
But as soon as I put one on, he does. This shit's scary. Shrivel up and hide in my hood and stuff. What's spanner in the works? Literally just preparing mentally and physically. And I just don't want to come in undercooked, but it's looking like I probably will. Will I be ready in time for October the 4th? Ugh. It's not looking great, but if Ethan's life told you anything, it's that you can pull it out of the depths, all right? Also, the whole documentary, I've been screaming that I wanted to do a four hour marathon. Can I even do a four hour marathon? Will it have effect on my lungs? Literally nobody even knows at this point. No. Well, he did a tour, he did a, a, an hour and 56 half marathon. Nobody even knows. The marathon is A to B. I will be at B. B for Bazinga. Bam! Hey, welcome to my old school. They've refurbed every single classroom. This room's changed, I can't believe it. Boom, my form room. Pow, Miss Collins. Ethan in the car. <laughs> school as a kid. Ethan was very funny, very, very mischievous. You know, the ruler technique. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Pow. I wouldn't say I'm a teacher friendly. Ethan was difficult to work with. Liked being with his mates, liked doing what he liked doing. Didn't like doing what the curriculum wanted him to do, what staff were desperately trying to get him to do. The teacher went out of the room and everyone was like, how to do something funny. I went and stood on the teacher's desk, but my pants fell down. My whole trousers fell down, so I hid under the table until she got back. Yeah, pants fell down, innit? He was a class clown, wanted to make everybody laugh. The infamous Ethan science block story, this is where it all happened. I got a phone call yet again from Marshalls, and Ethan had set off all the fire extinguishers after school. How? So, we figured out one day that you can off these off the wall. So I argued blue, black and blind. And I kept saying there's no way Ethan would do that. Something like this, and then you go. <laughs> and then there's a ceiling tile starting. I'm sorry, but someone seems to be messaging me non-stop and I don't know why. <sighs> Sorted. Come on now. He's not that silly. And you never know, really know another. <laughs> Found it hilarious. Apparently the classroom was full of foam. Staff got very frustrated with him. <laughs> These are the drama rooms. In the <laughs> second door here, I gave the performance of a lifetime. I was quite creative. Any of the ones that had me doing actual things was something I excelled in. He was always the focus of attention. This is my exact vision, I still remember it. I was leaning that over. I just smashed it. My drama teacher said, yeah. You've done a good job here. The thing is, is I'm great at performing, but realistically, my actual emotions are probably a little bit shit at, which is quite ironic. <laughs> what GCSEs did you get? Oh, uh, none. Well, I've got one. I've got a C. And then once you're like, okay, I now rely on this bit of paper for the next stage, you're like, oh, probably should have done something. So, fuck, me too, bro. Me too. Although, I didn't heavily rely on it, but I did want to get into university quick smart out of school and the fact that I left school, left high school halfway through my last year, halfway through my last year of high school, after killing it for at least three of those five, I just completely and utterly lost interest due to smoking weed every day. But we move on. 13 year old Ethan would be mind boggled at the thought of doing a marathon, 26.2 miles. So. 12 years later, we're here. Are we at race day? Well, all right then. So throughout lockdown, I messaged Fiddly and I said it would be really good to get a training session in. So we've organized a little bit of a special session. So it's gonna be a good one. Fiddly, lovely to see you. How was your lockdown? Not great. I mean, in terms of the running, it wasn't. Okay, well. sweet, so a bit of context. Um, <clears throat> Ethan's doing this for child cancer. His mother fought cancer. This fella on the left had a very rare tumour behind his eye at the age of 15. A cancerous tumour. He too fought and beat cancer. So he reached out to Ethan, said I've got a similar story, I'm running the marathon too, let's link up. Ethan said yes we will. And now they have. Oh, I wanted it to be. It sort of plummeted since the start. But yeah, how's yours been? Pretty much the same, mate. No gyms, but we're doing a training session like I said we would. However, we're up in the ante, and this time we've got double Olympic champion, Dan Kelly Hobbs. Awesome. 
Amazing. She's going to put us through our paces, mate. Definitely. I'm looking forward to it. So, here we are with Dane Kelly. Going to put us through the paces today. Are you ready though, mate? <laughs> I don't know. We'll see how we get going. So, I've brought you here today to Olympic Park for a bit of a training session. So, we've got a one mile circuit. So, key thing for that is your pace. So, we set it as nine minutes. You're not going to have a watch for this though. So, I'll time you when you get back to that mile. Let's see how close you actually are. How close are. I am to the pace. Yeah, gotcha. One. There might be a few extras in here. So, a nine minute mile effectively, 26 miles, nine 26s. What's 10 26s? 260s. What's four hours? 240. All right. Because I'm not sure if you know my background as being a physical training instructor in the army. Oh, right. Okay, guys, so you ready? Remember it's your nine minute mile. Don't go off too fast. Away. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. Let's go. I think I've got a nine minute mile in us, mate. Yeah, should be all right. It's a bit faster than that. Hey, well done, not too bad. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Up, down, down. Pick it up. Good, and then we're going to go for the next mile. Go straight on your run. Control that breathing straight away. Get the heart rate down. Okay, that's go, different. Go, 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 go. Good. That's oh, he's got, he's got a bit of pace, this guy, actually. Knees up, so using the hip flexors. Bend the legs, bend we the haven't legs, seen um, the Zinger sprint yet the until then. Tight across the chest. Come In on. fact, I want to give him a bit of clout. Let's, let's watch that form up the hill again. That was quite good. Have a look at this. Damn, he's, he's, he's all right. Good. That's better. Get the knees up, so using the hip flexors. Bend the legs, bend the legs, use the arms. He's only 25, anything's possible. Don't pull them up, that's where you get tight across the chest. Come on, get those legs up, come on. Get them up, get them up, the hip flexors are going, I know, come on. Yes, you're feeling tired, but you're gonna keep going no matter what, no one is gonna stop you. That's what happens in a run, doesn't always go to plan. Good. Keep it going now again. Go, 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 go. There Keep we go. Pumping their paces. I try to simulate what it's like when you get tired throughout your run. So legs get heavy. See, he's got big. He's got big thighs, right? He used to get shit for having big thighs because he had a big stomach. Now that he's lost the stomach and he still kept the thighs, they're just as powerful. We can see that. Out of control. So this is it. You're on your last lap of the marathon. Can you do this? I see you coming in, but you're not letting him beat you. This is never going to be as hard as the journeys you've already gone through. It becomes a mental game when you're running. A year before I won my two gold medals in Athens, I had biggest breakdown of my career because of emotional turmoil or being injured and lots of other things that had gone on. And I was getting ready for a world champs and at that point I could have given up. I wanted the floor to open up, jump in it and not see tomorrow. But I did. I ran and I got a silver medal at those world championships and no one knew what I was going through. Our minds are so strong and, you know, experiences can make us stronger. So what I'm going to say is you're doing it for a fantastic cause. You're also doing it for yourself. You kind of go, do you know what? I've done something really important in my life that I put my mind to. I set myself a goal. I didn't give up on it and I accomplished it. So I wish you the best of luck. Thank you very much. Thank you. I think it's just inspiring. Cause Let's go, boys. Through some hardship as well as me and family both have I'll tell you what, if he, if he can pull out a four hour marathon, I mean, I'll be proud of him. He's done so well. You know, it's incredible to hear his journey. Like, I am his dad, effectively. And, he, and that four hour goal is a really realistic target for him. Four weeks away from running the marathon, not the most pristine circumstances, but you know what? It doesn't matter. It's mindset, it's a mind game. You just get through it, you get it done. That's exactly what he was just told. See, all these experiences they've hit him with, right, throughout the, the six months leading up to the marathon are all about building your self-esteem. It's about building the belief in yourself that whatever happens, you can do it. At the end of the day, all you need to do is finish this thing. No one cares about the four hours. It's all about getting from A to B, just like he said. It's what you do. Let's go, son. 10 days until I marathon day. I'm in the same clothes all week. Probably longer than a week now. I'm ready to break free. I'm ready to leave. But yeah. There's not much left for me to watch. There isn't much left for me to watch. I sit and watch YouTube all evening. So I've just returned after my first ever sort of medical checkup. Because COVID is such an ever changing thing and people don't know how it really affects people, he said it's hard to definitely put a thing down and say nothing will happen. He said that because we only have just over a week leading up to the marathon now, that I should try and just get in a little bit more of long distance running, analyse how I feel, and if I feel good, 
give it the all good and I'm going to have my breakfast and then I'm going to get into my training. So, as always, start with skipping and then everything to help me train with my back. We just got the letter through from the doctor on the examination today. You look I'll tell you what. You know, he's been committed. He's he's done well through COVID. In the last one, we saw him doing rear delt flies with books, and that's something I've never seen in my life. Very well, and pretty much you've given me it all clear. I wish you luck with your marathon. Hope you enjoy the experience. So, thank you, Doc. It's go time. He's, he's even got the doctor on his side. I mean, come on. He may need to prove to himself that he can do something big, something that he never thought that he would be able to do. So, I've just seen the news that the London Marathon runners can do the run virtually however they want in between a 24 hour window. So, it looks like we might be able to do the London Marathon! What? He even has a point to prove, both to. <laughs> he's doing it virtually? Like a whole new person. We're gonna have to. I was gonna say, like, how the hell would they have held it in October of last year? Unless it was virtual. Find somewhere to run a marathon. Five best UK marathons for first timers. If he's going to complete this task, he deserves to run the full thing out in the open, whatever course it's going to be. A marathon's a marathon at the end of the day, it's all the same distance. Doing it somewhere else would just be like refreshing. It's, it's like a change of scenery. I feel like I've run enough of London by now. <laughs> <laughs> this could be the one. Suffolk looks absolutely beautiful and. We could finish the marathon on a seafront. That's a nice it's fade. A more grueling challenge and a much more it's introspective challenge if he does it completely on his own. Where there's no one around cheering him on. There's no okay, so there's one thing I do need to confirm. What is this necklace? Because everyone seems to be wearing it. I, I feel like that's probably, that might be the Sidemen logo. So let's have a look. Um, yes, it looks looks like it is. Um, X, I, X. Now what is, what is that in Roman numerals? Um, Okay, well, let's have a look at XIX Sidemen meaning. Sidemen were formed on the 19th of October 2013, so it stands for the 19th, being 10I10. 10 19. 19th of October. Boom. Or should I say. People on the sidelines. Bang. I think that we should do the Suffolk Coastal Marathon. Boom. Even though I'm doing it by myself, I feel like other people will be doing it by themselves and other people will be going through the motions. It's like a group effort around the world. Jesus, this is. this series took, took some real twists and turns, I'm going to say. Just close to 8 o'clock. It's not bad that, I suppose. It's alright. After today, I will be a marathon runner. Got my stuff laid out. Time to get ready. This is exactly how I thought. The shoes, it's exactly how I felt, man. I was making vlogs. I was making a vlog series up to the time that I did my marathon. I got up that morning. I think it was six o'clock. I went outside, had a coffee, looked outside. I was like, "Yeah, beautiful day." Had my shit ready last night. Had my had my number. Although he's probably not going to have one. And um, I actually used these very shoes. Believe it or not, these very shoes right here. I bought them a week before going you guys warned me new shoes new shoes don't do it but it all worked out fine no, I've used right the way through training they're a little bit bad we're they look, ready to run they look good on. legs ready yeah, go time. holy shit look at those fucking we're all ready to run G lay on legs ready yeah he's got some muscles yeah, <laughs> I don't have really like scared or bad nerves, but I suppose not many people have done it, so it's definitely a feat. We are about 10 minutes away from destination, and it's time to warm up and get focused and ready to run these 26.2 miles. And being able to do something for Teenage Cancer Trust is one of the main things I'm looking forward to accomplishing. I've just spoken to him on the phone. He's all prepared, he's excited, he's out of poo, so all was good. I'm on my way. He hasn't got a clue. Oh, nice. One of the most exciting things about this is the fact that the London Marathon have actually enabled this run to count because I've been adhering to COVID quarantine rules and they're allowing other runners and myself to do the run within the first two weeks. And doing that, you'll be able to get your medal. I said four hours for the oh, whole thing, nice. right? But I mean, nice. if I'm scuffering through mud, 
we'll try and stick to the pace. Let's we'll try and stick to the time and see if we can. Okay, so originally I thought that he was doing some cross country training, but that was before I knew that he was doing a, a, a virtual off site marathon. Um, it seems that he's doing a bit of cross, cross country, which is exactly what I did. So he's going to do real well to get under four hours. But if he does, man, I'll tell you what, if he, if he, this is what happened to me, okay? I, I went through the first 21 point. 21.1 uh, k's, which is 13 miles, in two hours and one minute. And I thought, right, I'm feeling good. My music is blaring. I'm going well. If I can just do that again, I'll get four hours. Now, what happened was about five k's after that, my time started going from about nine minutes per mile to about 11 minutes per mile. And whatever I did, I just couldn't bring it back. I mean, I was so fatigued. Is he going to have some fuel? Because the thing that I didn't do is take on enough fuel. I didn't take on enough water. And what that meant is that I was not only, you know, completely out of energy, but I was also out of um, electrolytes. And what that meant was that I started cramping really bad at the 32 kilometer mark. And what that did was take my time from what I was aiming for originally, which was four hours, to about four hours 30 and then to four hours, 55 minutes. And in the end, all I wanted, I was actually running through cramps, which if you've ever had to do that, I mean, it's, you don't do it. It's impossible, you have to stop. But I had a goal in mind to finish this marathon under five hours, and I did it. But it took some fucking doing, I'm telling you that. So let's go. Don't be impressive. What a place to start. One or two. If I were to give you any inspiration, it would be run, you big chubby bastard. Good luck. You deserve it. <laughs> this is going to be another one in the bag. You'll get through it if you pace yourself. Keep going. I can yeah, smash it, really. You find no matter where we are in the world, we've always got your back. We all believe in you, man. <laughs> go on, Ethan. You got this. Go on, do us proud. It's like, dude, you're going to smash it. And always keep that big grin on your face. He knows in his heart he can do it. <sighs> you bastard. Oh my god, I'm almost crying, bro. I'll be waiting at the end. I can promise you that. Let's do it. Oh man, imagine hearing that right before you head out. Like, seriously. Oh god. That's your lovely bit of motivation. Fuck you. Just everyone. Myself. Everyone. It's cool, isn't it? It's cool. It's a cool thing. Celebrate your friends. Celebrate each other. Enjoy it. Everyone's got their achievements. Yeah, and this will be mine. It's here now, so it's just point A to B. That's it. It's a long yeah, way. I'm busted. My mum said on the phone, what have I always told you? From very early, she said, do anything you put your mind on. Oh, his mum's going to be there at the end. Oh, God. Your mind on anything you want to be, you can do it. Oh, mate. I'm almost crying already. Well, actually, I am. Righty. Off we go. Bang on the pace. Got nine on the watch. Which is exactly what we're here for. Here we go. Just approaching the first kilometer, and we're on the different terrain. Finally got this sweat coming. We're officially warm. First bit of a hill as well. Gonna make sure I'll be careful with my footwork. That's really interesting. When I was training, I would I it would take me about ten minutes to start sweating. Usually. And that would be around about 1.8 Ks or something like that. 1.9, maybe even 2 Ks. 1.9 Ks. And he started sweating around about a K, but like that jogged my memory because of the fact that like it was pretty much like clockwork. The instant I started getting those beads on my head, it would have been about 10 minutes into the run. Interesting. Remember what Dan Kelly Holm said? Now it gets pretty. Here we go. Look at that. Look at that. We're in the grasslands. Terrain's gonna be a bit slippy now. Officially four miles here. This is mental. Pardon Dodger. Yeah, that's not easy. Here we go. Stay to this. That's not easy, oh. man. Oh. Not at all. That'll oh, make this is gonna be a bit of fun. Yeah, that'll make that'll that'll certainly make it harder. Ugh. Now this is Ugh. This is gonna slow me down. Fuck yeah, it is. Look at this. Oh no. Oh, please. My shoes are disgusting. I feel like I need to poo. I feel like I'm gonna have to poo. Like, desperately. Holy shit. And there's no toilet roll. Oh boy. Oh. What else do you have to do? 
Oh, so easy. This is going back. That's a wrap. Oh, I'm going to stop recording. Stay for this. Stay. Note to self. Did not have wagon mummers the night before. Running a marathon. Nightmare. I feel like an adventurer. Well, he ain't making oh, four hours, I'll tell you that much. Ow! Look! There was an owl just there! <laughs> it's so pretty here. Nearly done with this. The beach is there. I feel so much better. All the colours are brighter. Mm. Oh my god. I've legit just done a rag twist, mate. We're officially on the beach. Oh. He's running on sand? Pretty much a quarter of the way down. These different terrains are crazy. Sand now. Oh my god, he hasn't made it easy. He has not made it easy on himself. Not, yeah, not whatsoever. Gradual hill. That's <laughs> Approaching the harbour. Back on road. Lovely. Straight to it. One thing I will say is now the pains are coming. My feet are in pain. Ah! Ah! We're halfway through now, so fingers crossed, it is within these two hours. My heart is beating out my chest. Ah, oh, my legs! Oh, shit! Oh no, ah. one. It's going alright. Ah. Second half. Uh, just over 14 miles done, but. Definitely sort of like in the head now. You can feel your feet hurting. We've got to go through the different terrains again. Uh, but yeah. It's going to be tough. Ethan likes to be on the winning side, but he's also ready to accept when he's lost. Oh, my feet are killing me. Feet are ropes. Feet are ropes. I think just as I got to the 15th mile, peppered, done. Absolutely finished. My left lower calf was just complete spasm. It was just like stiff. My left leg feels like it's packing it. Not great. Oh. I feel like I'm officially in the pits. Bro, I tell you what, if you've got some cramps going on, I mean, where, where's your, where's your, where, where's your, where's your water, bro? I'm sure people are giving you water. You've got a camera crew with you, but shit. I mean, this is going to be interesting. Oh boy. He's out there in some really heavy muddy terrain, so I'm a little bit anxious that it's tiring him out. Oh, this is not ideal. This terrain is absolutely cane in my feet. He wants to push himself. He knows he can do it, but it's about- The calves, mate, the there. calves. It with my feet, I feel like- <laughs> Okay, so they're following him on a quad bike with the camera. Got it. Tendons. That makes sense. My feet. When he said a brick wall, he can find something extra in reserve. My left leg's going. My left leg's going, I can feel it. Decent bit of a gradual hill here. In fact, he's limping pretty hard, that's, isn't it? Oh. See, that's, people get injured in these things, man. They just keep pushing, keep pushing, because you've got to finish, but you'll push yourself through an injury, you know what I mean? Gosh. Grip, determination, all big bazinga factors. He's just so determined to prove all the doubters wrong and prove to himself that he can do anything. Fuck, man, I'm the same. My legs are completely done. But we're nearly there. He'd be thinking how far he's come, all that he's achieved, definitely Finley. My cancer journey, or what we went through, it'll all be running through. If I life. cry, don't hold it against me because I know what it's like to finish one of these things, man. This hill is gonna be hell. It's gonna be hell. It is essentially like a landmark in his self improvement, and this is the proof of that work. I can feel my legs spasming. Ah, my groins, my hamstrings. Ah, my groins. My hamstrings. Ah! At this point, the main thing for him is how can I improve myself? 24 miles. My groin, my hamstrings. Ah, that actually reminds me. Okay, the cramps. The cramps actually travelled across different muscle groups in my legs. 
First they started in the calves, then they went to my hamstrings, which, oh my god, I'll tell you what, <laughs> that ain't good. Then they went to my adductor, then my quad, and then back to my calves. And in the end, I was, I was running through calf cramps for the last 2.2 miles at least. So I feel his pain, man. If he, if he gets under five hours, at this point I was like, fuck man, if I get under five hours, I'm happy. And I did. Four hours 55 I got. So let's see how he does. 2.2 miles, that's three, three and a half Ks. These are gonna be the hardest three and a half Ks he's, he's ever done, I'm telling you. This is it, baby. Lots set. He shared this journey but he's so got it. transparently with everyone. Yes! Yes! <laughs> to start this journey, let alone to run it. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> no way. Come on. Hello. Come on. Bro, you gotta have a welcoming oh. party, man. Come on. I did it. I did it. <laughs> what is it? What's the time? What's the time? What do you guys reckon? I reckon 4, 4, uh, 4, 40. 4, 40. Moving time, 4, 23. 4, 23! I feel great. So good. Well. Well, it was more than that. That's the moving time. He must have, he must have taken some stops because, yeah, anyway. I'll give him 4.23, why not? Did all this over the last two years. And then I put myself literally through the trenches. Let's get that The running and the achievement is almost like a self-validation. Even though I know I shouldn't doubt myself, I still do at times, whereas now it's- Right, he would have been going through some pain, man. He really would have. So respect, brother. An achievement, you sort of sit there and you think, don't doubt yourself again. Now it's time to just help people that have been in similar situations and try and push out a positive message and get people to make the right choices. The people that have watched this now, make a choice, make a decision, follow it through. It's all just taking like one step at a time. I tell you what, if I'd never run a marathon before in my life, this would spur me on to do it. That really would. And I hope anyone else out there that has thought about it, but thought, no, I could never do that, has watched this and watched my vlogs, and just challenge yourself, man, do it. You only need to do one. You don't need to become addicted to it. Just do one. You change your life around. He's bringing people along on his journey of finding himself and understanding himself. Even a half marathon. I'll let you away with that. From bettering himself every day. And it's inspiring really to watch as a friend, and I'm sure it's inspiring for a lot of viewers too. The three words that I would use to describe Ethan would be inspirational, exciting, and powerful. I've done it in four and a half hours. Come on! Fuck, man. Run for, I've just run 26 miles. <laughs> Fish and chips, boy. Fish and chips. Yes. <laughs> I love fish and chips. Four and a half hours, you know. Amazing. Amazing, mate. And the reason why I just teared up at the end there was his friends, man, his mates. You know what I mean? Like backing him and having, you know, yeah, mates can give each other shit, but at the end of the day, they'll always back each other. And that's what mates are about. That's what family's about. And that's what this journey was about. So, ba -ba 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 -ba. I'll see you in the next one. There's nothing else to say, guys. Peace out.